Hey, Plant City, I'm Murph. Welcome to my crib. Come on inside. This is the Headworks building. This is where all the sewage from Plant City comes. It's gonna rake out roots, rags, anything that could come in through there that could fill up the tanks that we don't want in the process. And then we're gonna have a pistol grit that's gonna take the grit and the detritus, eggshells, all out and put it into a dumpster. All of that material then disposed at a class one landfill. So when everything comes in, it has an automatic bar screen that is gonna rake this material out of the flow so that it doesn't get into our pipes, our pumps, our systems, any types of roots, rags, anything that somebody accidentally flushes is all gonna come in here. Sometimes it pays to check the rag dumpster. Every once in a while you might find a dollar bill or something. This material is exactly why you don't flush anything besides pee, poo, and toilet paper. This is where the magic happens. The activated sludge process. It is the very coolest of all things. So the sewage that comes into the plant, we're taking a naturally occurring bacteria and we're growing that population to eat the sewage, the contaminants out of the sewage and treat the water to make it a clean, safe product at the end. The bugs that we grow in these tanks are gonna eat disease-causing bacteria and organisms and turn the water into a safe product. Murph's Dojo. So the activated sludge, that mixed liquor, suspended solids, comes in, it's all stirred up in those tanks so that it's inoculated with the raw sewage and it eats very well, comes over here, finishes eating, and uses the rest of the oxygen that it has. The bugs, if they're happy, <laughs> will settle to the bottom and we pump them back around to get more food. The effluent overflows the top of the clarifiers and goes on to, for additional treatment. So the water, from the secondary clarifiers is coming to these sand filters. There's 65 modules. This is one module. That module has 10 tons of sand in it. The water has to come through that sand, is continuously backwashed to clean it up, and the sand captures any particulate matter that might have made it through the rest of the process. That water is going to the chlorine contact chambers and will then be disinfected. So the water, after the sand filters, comes into the chlorine contact chamber. We're gonna hit it with 12% bleach and disinfect it. We maintain a greater than a 1.1 chlorine residual. On the end, we take a sample here of the effluent that's gonna be discharged, and we've sampled at the headworks so we can compare and show that we've met or exceeded state and federal regulations. So this is a lab where we do wet sampling. Science stuff. Science stuff. So one of the operators picked up the sample for the mixed liquor. That way we can see basically where we are with the bugs <laughs> to make sure that food to microorganism ratio is right. This will give us an indication of that. It's all about treating and providing that safe water that's gonna go back into the environment. And cha-ching, 
This is some of the benefits of doing that well. Our department has been awarded 12 times, six times first place for the state of Florida, the best effluent quality water in the state. That means we are here 24 seven doing what we can to keep the environment safe and be good stewards. Thanks for coming by. I hope you learned something about the wastewater plant today. I'm Murph and I gotta go back to work.